I'm Lisette. I'm Jamie. I'm Allie. And I'm Bella. We're from Ogallala High School. And this is our piece, Coping Skills. We'd like to offer a trigger warning for mentions of self-harm. What, what coping, coping skills have you been working on? I can't count how many times my mother has asked me that question. I wake up tired, go, go to, to school, school hungry, take, take grueling classes, push, push physically in sports practice, practice, work mentally in fine arts practice. My brain loses its strength. I analyze the spots on my arms, the bruises on my knees. My, my brain, brain hums hymns of disappointment. As time ticks by, my mind wanders down yeah. paths covered with tangled thorns and tall weeds. I don't want to think about the bad things. The way I see myself as a humanoid devoid of love and peace. The longing I feel for my old life and family. Sometimes I still laugh with my friends and enjoy my school activities. But soon, the, the dark, dark thoughts rush back like, like wind screaming in my ear. I used to cope in normal ways, like reading or taking a nap. Until that day in sixth grade when scissors were no longer an object for cutting out shapes. Until my junior year when my brother showed me a way to make my brain go foggy and, and my, my body, body go numb. numb. I cope by not coping, just going through the motions, reliving, reliving every, every day, day the same. same. I cope by participating in everything I possibly can, throwing myself into the world and its ever-pulling tide, to lose myself before my brain takes me away. We've been conditioned to understand the word skill as an accomplishment, as, as something to be praised. But is it a skill if it's unhealthy? We've sacrificed our health to cope through self-harm, substance use, over-involvement, not coping at all. Though we're flooded with thoughts that try to swallow us whole, we do what we can to stay afloat. We, we dream, dream of a reality we don't have to escape. 